Hey, what's going on guys? Tennis Mike here. Uh, today we're going to be discussing pro stocks, which are the rackets that pros actually use. A lot of times the racket you see on TV isn't actually what the pros are using. In reality, they're using a much different frame than compared to the mainstream commercial market. You may have heard stuff like how the pro stuff RF97A is Federer's actual racket, which is probably about 80% accurate. Roger himself definitely won't pick a frame directly from the shelf like you and I. Most of his stuff is extremely customized for his own game. Take his grip for example. It's custom fit to his hand from a company called P1. So Federer's actual pro racket is automatically different from the commercial RF97A and whether or not they actually play the same is definitely questionable. But are pro stock rackets actually better? Or is there a reason why mere mortals like ourselves aren't being sold one? Well, recently, I managed to get my hands on Sissipas actual racket, which is not the Blade V8. <laughs> That's just what Wilson wants you to think his racket is. He endorses the Blade V8, but his racket is actually the old K-Blade in 18x20 pattern that is painted to look like the Blade V8. And that's essentially what his pro stock is. Firstly, I'd like to shout out Brandon who let me try out this pro stock. He's done a couple videos with Tennis Nerd in the past, as well as a few other channels, and his video would not be possible without him. So first off, what are the specs? I'm not going to go too technical into Sissy Pass's actual racket specs, but there's one metric I'd like to point out. The key difference, I would say, comparing an ATP player racket versus a commercial racket is the swing weight. Sissy Pass's actual strong swing weight is around 343, which is significantly higher than a Pro Stock Blade V8, which is around 317, depending on Wilson's quality control. So give or take 7 grams. The Pro Stock I am using, however, doesn't have a 343 swing weight. Its swing weight is around 332. Not as high as Sissy Pass's actual racket, but still higher than the Stock Blade V8. So right off the bat here, I'm warming up uh, with my friend here and we're hitting in not the most ideal conditions to play tennis. As you can see, it's a little like rainy, it's kind of drizzling a little, and the balls are a little heavy, which is actually what I want to bring up. The advantage of using a racket with a higher swing weight is obviously you're going to get a lot more plow through on the ball. So. As I'm warming up here, I notice that I don't have to use as much strength to generate that racket hit speed that I usually would have to do um, with my stock racket, which is the Prince 100P. The 100P doesn't necessarily have as hefty a swing weight. I am not sure what my actual racket swing weight is currently but I would say it's around 320, 315 to 320 because the 331 or 332, I can't remember, of this pro stock is actually pretty hefty for myself. Comparatively, I have used rackets with higher swing weights before, but it does take a toll on how difficult it is to control the ball and it really forces you to have perfect technique and well, it doesn't really allow for much errors. As you can see here, uh, we start to go a little bit faster the more we hit. The air is really humid, especially with the rain. The ball is getting wet a little. Uh, it's really hard to hit through, especially, but I thought that the swing weight of the racket really helped a lot, as well as the 18 by 20 pattern, which did give me a lot of control, gave me a lot of confidence to swing through the ball. Another thing I'll note, 
is that I didn't have a lot of issue generating spin as I thought I would. Generally with an 1820 frame, you would struggle to get spin on the ball, but I didn't find it that difficult to generate top spin, um, especially on the backhand. I think this is why Sissipas is able to still generate so much spin on his one-hander. Because I also use a one-hander, but I don't see myself hitting as much spin as Sissipas does for sure. Oh, I think it's a good And this is where I think pro rackets really excel compared to commercial rackets because with the lighter commercial rackets, you're going to be generating a lot more racket head speed to produce the same speed or um, heaviness of ball compared to an, a heavier pro stock racket. So this particular racket that Sissipas is using the K-Blade mold, I find it pretty stiff. I don't think it's too flexible, but it's okay. I generally play with very stiff frames and it's not too uncomfortable to hit with. I should mention the strings I am using on this is Twer Sniper, a grapple snake string at around 52 pounds. So, so far throughout hitting with this racket, I do not think it's necessarily improved my game at all. There's really not much of a difference um, in terms of quality of shot that I am making compared to when I was using a pure strike that I had modified to my specifications because I wanted to hit bigger, I wanted to go a lot deeper in my shots. That was in my hitting video, I think in April. And the one thing I note, it's still achievable with a regular frame. Like you don't need to go out of your way to buy a pro stock to achieve this quality of hitting. So over here, I'm doing some serves. I start off a little shaky because I'm not really used to the um, weight of the racket. So my motion is kind of inconsistent, especially the first few serves that I'm doing. What I struggle with, uh, with a, like a heavier swing weight, even just like five to seven grams heavier than what I'm used to, it does cause a lot of issue, especially on the serve. I think I spent more time on the outside here because uh, I really wanted to get that flat surf zone in during this hitting session. By the fourth or fifth surf, I realized that with this racket, it just felt really good hitting a flat surf. just really satisfying to hit serves with this racket if I'm being completely honest. It was even more satisfying than hitting ground strokes. I would say probably my favorite part of using Sissy Pass's racket um, with a slightly with a lower swing weight is definitely the serve. Thank you. 
Another thing I didn't get to talk about was the volleys. It did feel really solid when I went up to volley, especially after and trying to put away a point. You could really feel the ball dwell on the racket and it did give me a lot of confidence to come into the net a lot. And I would say that's probably one of the benefits of this racket. So I know I've said a lot of positives about this racket, but will I switch to this racket or use a pro stock like the pros? Probably not. And the reason is, I'm simply not good enough. So let me explain. The biggest benefit I could see from this pro stock is simply the plow through. Firstly, the plow through is so good to the point where I could generate pace even though the conditions were so poor. It was heavy, it was difficult to generate power, but I could still generate power with the high swing weight of the frame. Well, not necessarily high if you're looking at pro specs, but the higher swing weight of the pro specs compared to the commercial rackets did give me an advantage in speed and in depth and in heaviness of shot. But you don't need a pro stock to achieve these benefits. You just need let tape. There may be a lot of intricacies to a high quality pro stock that I simply am not good enough to appreciate. But from now, I can probably say I'm not good enough to use a pro stock and you're probably not good enough to use one too. Thanks for watching.